I must tell you, I would never dream normally of doing an election broadcast for any particular political party, even though I believe passionately in Labour values. But I'm so angry about the way the National Health Service is going, feel so strongly about what's happening, I feel that I need to stand up and say very clearly why it's important to vote Labour. Before the general election, David Cameron said he could be trusted with the NHS. He said he'd protect the front line at all costs. We now know that wasn't true. When he still needed your vote, David Cameron promised no more top-down reorganizations of the health service. And he wrote that pledge into the coalition agreement in black and white. As soon as David Cameron got in, he launched the biggest top-down reorganization in the history of the NHS. Independent estimates put the cost of this wasteful exercise at up to three billion pounds. I feel passionately the NHS is the right care system and to see that gradually being dismantled uh, breaks my heart. And did he protect those people on the front line who worked so hard for us all? I'm afraid he didn't. He's laid off more than 4,000 nurses since he got into Downing Street and thousands more are set to lose their jobs in the coming years. Is that really the change he said he'd bring? It's very scary because children walking around today are proof that the NHS works and I'd hate it all to come to a, a, a bad end. Before the election, David Cameron visited hospitals up and down the country promising not to close services. When he needed your vote, that's what he told you. But now, services are set to shut down. The NHS deals with us when we're at our most vulnerable, at our most frightened, when we're naked and faced with uncertainty. We need nurses and doctors who have time to listen to us and to care. In these local elections, you can vote for the National Health Service to protect it, to improve it. Labour would get back to reducing waiting times, improving the quality of care, and would stop nurses being laid off. On Thursday, May the 3rd, vote NHS. Vote Labour.